Welcome back everybody, I'm Just Zack and it is my continued mission to show you an interesting video game almost every single day. Today we are going to have a look at A Note Heart, I hope that I pronounced that right, a semi-open world monster tamer RPG inspired by, of course, the classic tamer, monster tamer, creature collector JRPG games of the olden times as the developer states himself or herself on the Steam description page. Also, this is set in a dystopian world and as you can hear already, with a very cool and atmospheric soundtrack. This is actually kind of the main reason I'm checking out this game, cause, I don't know, there's something like very atmospheric about the game trailer and that was very cool for me and a reason to check it out. But without further ado, let's check out the options menu first as usual to get a glimpse at the game and of course as you can see top left corner we're gonna have a look at the demo i'm recording this roughly one day before the uh, game's official release so check it out link is as always down below and this is not like a um, rpg maker game this is actually being made in unity this is why we actually have a decent options menu which i'm very happy to see but we have battle speed maybe remember command that's the only thing i can really think of also keyboard uh, there's azerty and QWERTY would be nice to have also a QWERTS keyboard because, well, that's what we have here in Germany, but there is already this accessibility option, so that's very nice to see. Thumbs up. Let's finally jump into the game and see what this offers. Ooh, this is it. It's complete. Doctor, they're caught up to us. We have to evacuate everyone. They're all cute. It's so our time's up. Save the two of them. I will stay behind. The A <laughs> heart must survive. Now your journey begins. Seek. All right, we must evacuate everyone. Are we the one that was, no, we are someone else, right? Circuit shore. Capsule trace complete. Program found, analyzing. Core data is missing. Seek, reinitialize. Oh, we are seek, okay, cool. Hello. Oh, bye. Oh, and of course, uh, it's so classic. Oh, it's so amazing. You wake up at the shoreline, probably kind of lost your memory. She, she slot. <laughs> you awake. Thank the Virgils. I was afraid your program had malfunctioned for good. Dots and question mark. <laughs> oh, my apologies. I should explain. You're inside my station in Colonel Dump. I'm a Shishi. I, sorry, I am Shiji, the mechanic. Oh, that's an exclamation mark. You were collapsed on the brink of circuit shore, so I brought you here for repairs. Though, I have to say, I've never seen a mechanica quite like you before. Question mark? Even as a mechanic myself, I had trouble figuring out how to reboot your program. Thankfully, it rebooted on its own. Do you have a name? I saw some symbols on your sleeve that could be interpreted as seek. Exclamation mark. It's your speech module uh, inactive. Hmm. Why don't you take this for the time being? Unlocked recorder. If you need, you can use that recorder to write down things you want to say. Or in my case, things you want to remember. <laughs> so, is Seek your name? Yeah, I like that. Got it. Do you remember how you got here, Seek? Dots. No record? Hmm. You should rest here for a bit, Seek. Your power hasn't restored to full capacity yet either. Not to mention that strange mist outside. I almost got lost out there myself. Lost. You can save your progress here at this terminal. And you can recharge your circuits at the heart terminal over there. Well, if you need any help with anything, I'll be here at my workstation. Oh, it's such a classic! I don't know, for some reason this re uh, reminds me of Alundra, if anyone ever remembers that game. <laughs> uh, it's a dive station manual, read it. Oh, let's have a glimpse. A glimpse. Dive. Dendrit Integrated Virtual Environment. 
is an essential tool for performing system diagnostics. Connect its port to your station's NAP, Nexus Access Point, and plug the EGG or EG headset through an integrated ME mind elevator. The interfacing procedure will then take place inside the virtual environment session. You skim over the rest of the text. And it's just as technically heavy and <laughs> indecipherable as the first page. Also, what is this dot here? Capsule. It's Mr. Shishi's sleep capsule. Its program is under maintenance at the moment. But what about this thing? It's following me. That's so cool. Is that the, the ghost? Uh, well, ghost in quotation marks we saw at the beginning, maybe? That's the heart terminal? The recovery terminal is linked. Heal your party, sure. Healing subroutine initiated. Party healed. Nice. Okay, this is where we save. The terminal is linked. Save your data here. Yes. Slot 1. Game saved. Hey. Okay, what's this? An X-shaped contraption. You're not sure if you can sleep in this one. Fair enough. So start button. Day 1. Oh, this is... Yeah. I don't know. There's definitely something nostalgic about this memory. It instantly gives me Pokemon vibes in a good sense, by the way. Quest. Quest log. Nice. Gadgets. Oh, wait. Double clicked. Gadgets, recorder, gadget unavailable. So there's gonna be more. Apparently, there's gonna be egg hatching too. Interesting. Monday reminder don't forget to go to Raid City to buy some eggs and milk. Mr. Shishi. Page one out of four, but entry one one. Oh, I can go down. That's why. Okay, um, page two. Eureka! <laughs> I caught the heart pattern traveling through the systems, and I managed to materialize three pro prototype eggs. If my theory is correct, I should be able to create brand new Tama from these. Oh, it's Tamagotchi! Or T Tamamon. I've hooked the prototype eggs to my terminal and, well, I'm not sure how to hatch them. I tried writing an incubation program, but there seems to be some sort of a lock. A hatching prevention mechanism of sorts. I'm not sure if this is some innate property of all Tama, or if it was programmed in by someone externally. These creatures really are a mystery. And the fourth one is question marks. All right, this is our party. Okay, three are always active, uh, and three are gonna be on the bench. Interesting. And some memory that we probably need to unlock. And it seems like in the upper right that I would guess this is like the day-night uh, day cycle. Hello, who are you? Robbie. Bzzzt. Mr. Shishi brought you here for repairs. But you don't look or behave like a mechanica. Are you a sentient? Bzzzt. Forgive me if I'm being rude. Your backing doesn't matter. You're a fellow resident. Do you want some game and control tips? You can also see these controls on your settings. Bzzit. I think I'm fine. Bzzit. They are pretty good tips. Please reconsider. Ah, it's fine. Oi, Zeke, you should at least wait until the mist has cleared. Not to mention your power hasn't fully restored yet. Okay, fair enough. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you. Oh, there! Th yes, the axe! I wanna have my first one. Yes, let's go. Hel hello. Zeke, you should take it easy for a while. At least wait until... Okay, that's the same stuff. X! There are three X in, a vari in various colors here. Touch them. Yeah! Dots. Loot! Exclamation mark. Oh, another exclamation mark. The prototype X. What? How, how did you do that? Question mark. I've been trying to hatch them for months. Well, there's no time to marvel now. You'll have to link with the timer that is about to hatch. Question mark. I promise to explain all of it later, but please, you must get closer to the X now. Dots. I've set it up so that only one of these timer will hatch, but you have to pick which one. Okay, are you ready? They're about to hatch. <laughs> we, got, we got to throw in a sentence where you can only choose one. Fair enough. Choose the timer as your starting partner. Nice. Okay, we have the fire one. We have the birdie one. Probably water. Yeah, this one could be more water. Oh, this is maybe ice or so? Or wind? Okay, let's start with the left one. This is Kubu. And oh, this is Earth. Interesting. Earth Cobalt Tama. Eats plants. Okay, so it's an Earth like Tama and it's strong against plants, maybe. Class Lizard. Passive. Hardening. Gain two armor whenever your Earth attack does damage. Interesting. HP, strength, magic, speed, and wisdom. So good strength, good HP. Not that fast, not that wise, and not that good with magic, or, well, decent with magic. And we have Talfu, a fire dog Tama, eats meat, interesting, class wolf. Or maybe eats plants and meat, I guess we are forming bonds with them later on, and we have to feed them or something like that, right? Class wolf, passive, cinders, your fire attacks gain one burn. Okay, 75 HP, good strength, 85, very good magic, decent speed, 
Not that good wisdom. Fair enough. Ooh, oh man, I like all three of them. Fifu. A wind bird Tama. Can eat anything. Class bird. Passive will wind. Gain one speed up for three wind attacks used. Interesting. Very high speed. And pretty solid stats all across. I think I'm gonna go with Talfu. Yeah, let's go. Some burning stuff sounds cool. Talfu, I choose you! My goodness. An actual Talfu. Do you want to give it a nickname? I actually like the name Talfu. I'm fine with that. But I love that we can do that. And this is incredible. I will have to analyze the data produced by this event throughout me. Now that you have linked with this Tama, you'll have to be the one to take care of it. Oh, no, wait, responsibility? I wasn't up for that. Uh, I was going to explore the island with it as my companion, but I'll entrust this mission to you now. You probably already know this, but until recently, Tama were a phenomenon exclusive to the net. Inside the net, they existed as Amalgama sorry, let me try this again. amalgamations of data and code that has essentially, well, come to life. But now, they seem to be popping up in the overworld as well. Since our world consists of many layers, both digital and analog, something like this isn't impossible. But we still don't know how Tama come to exist in the first place. Or why they've started to take form in the overworld. I hope that it'll be that I'll be able to understand more now that you've linked with Talfu. Oh, one final thing before you go out and, and explore. Unlocked recruited decks. Nice. Here, just in case you find recruits. This gadget will help you keep track of them. Question mark? I wanted to explore the island and find other sentients who would want to come and live here. Once, long ago, this place used to be full. It was very live, lively, lively, but I'm all alone. With all the mechanic work I get each day, I'm barely able to keep the slot and its surrounding clean. Quest received. So please, if you happen to meet other sentients, try to bring them here to Colonel Dump. Okay, yeah, definitely more like a dystopian world. We want to find out what's going on. There's different layers of the world between digital and analog as well. Okay, that's cool. Let's save again. What have I talked to? And now he's like, uh, just go out there and do stuff? Okay, first things first. Well, has the mist cleared? That's a different question as well, right? Quest Shishi's request. Explore the island and recruit 10 sentients. Okay, for like our hub world? Party though. Tafu, 14 HP. View stats. Also, we could rename this one. Cannot reboot. Is it a reboot? No, I guess reboot is just like a reset, right? I mean, it's literally a reboot, so I guess this would bring this either down to level 1, but with some benefits to re-level it, or just it's like a strength and attack moves that we can, um, I guess, uh, you know, do anew, so to speak. Okay, it currently has the claw attack. Okay, the attack moves, so to speak. Upgrades are available too. And evolutions too. Okay, and level 10 it's gonna be Talfir, then Talsevir later on. Cool, potential as well. Very interesting. So we have a lot of ways that we can customize and upgrade and, you know, further improve our Tamas. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm hooked. I'm gonna talk to you again. Seek. This data is truly fascinating. It'll take some time to process it, however. How's your Talfu doing? Good, good. Do you want a tip on how to raise it? Sure. Your Tama has a level and some collection of stats. To raise its level and make it stronger, you'll have to battle and interact with other Tama in the world. Some Tama only like plant food, others like meat data. Like mine! Hey! Some even eat rocks! Haha! <laughs> well, the birdie would have eaten everything, right? Well, let's go outside. Save the game? Now it's time to save the world. Colonel Dump. Alright, notice, it's a blank billboard. Well, that makes sense. Ah, zzz, you must be the new resident Mr. Shishi talked about. I see you have a Tama as well. Wait, wait, as well? Apparently, uh, I mean, the old guy wasn't able to, right? So who has a Tama as well? Mr. Shishi told us not to feed the wild Tama. Oh, so there's wild ones, got it. Zzz. Apparently, they don't get hungry like sentients do, but they have the ability to eat things nonetheless. They even have a weight property. Truly strange creatures. Interesting. Oh, beep, bop. Hey, over here. Mr. Shishi just gave you a Tama, is that correct? If you want to learn a bit about it, come talk to me. Okay, sure. Can I touch the button? No. Can I touch you? Youngin, are you a new resident? Or have I forgotten who you are? Zzz. Dots. Mr. Shishi has given you a mission. You will try to find more residents. I will help you with that, youngin. My motors have rusted away, so I can't really move no more, but I can browse the net for you and see if I can find any sentience around here. 
Now give me a moment. I need to boot my modem up. Bzzit. Bzzit. Doodoot. Beep. Beep. Doodoot. Doodoot. Bzzit. Youngin, I found someone nearby. They're in the forest west from the city. They seem to be waiting by some sort of gauge. Okay, west of the city, right? Okay. Tutorial combat? Oh, there's treasure already up there. Nice. Hello, beep boop. This is the training area. I can show you some combat basics for a dummy. What do you say? On the other hand, I think I'm fine, right? We're gonna fight in a second anyway. Can I... Oh, I can't look through the treasure. Man, look at this town. Beautiful. There's also... Are you a merchant? Shop bot. Howdy, newcomer. This is Colonel Dump's finest shop. Interested in some fresh data-rich produce? Yeah, let's go. I wanna buy stuff. A data mushroom, a chip worm, a carrot, and rock. Data mushroom. 400? Wow! You are just ri ripping me off, dude. How dare you? You're a bandit. A data mushroom. The base nutrition. Heals 10 HP plus 2 MB. Weight. Chipworm. Loved by bird like Tama. Heals 5 HP plus 1 MB. 300 carat. Good for herbivores. Uh, herbivorous Tama. Heals 5 HP, 1 MP, and rock. I mean, data mushroom is pretty good. Let's buy two of those. Sure. Not sure about the rock. Man, look at the statue, it's so cool. Oh, it's a statue of a mech looking up into the sky. Oh, can we travel to the moon or so? It's a teleport pad, but it doesn't seem to be active, so later on we're gonna have some teleportation as well. Oh, got one battery. New item battery, a low voltage energy storage artifice. Some species of Tama may like it. The item was stored inside the memory. Can we actually go down here? Oh, we can. Oh, I mean, we saved, right? It seems like the game wants to go to the west, but you know what? Let's go. First combat. Let's see. Battle. Okay, it's a little bit too crabble, but only 10 HP. Support info. All right. Let's go. Attack. Claw. Watch your crit. Nice. Two damage only. Oh no. Oh no, it's gonna use water against us. That's pretty bad, actually. Well, I have healing items, so let's use claw again. It's gonna deal four damage to us again. Mm-hmm. Another claw. Let's go. Down to five. Oh. I could attack and didn't move, so there's gonna be toner. Maybe I should play the tutorial. Okay, support. Oh, what? Yeah, I, I mean, it's grayed out, so I'm not sure if I can use it. Oh, because it can't eat data mushrooms, maybe? Uh, flee! Run away! Never mind! I'm gonna play the tutorial. <laughs> All right. This game is not holding back, but um, of course we're not supposed to go to the left. It's also a terminal. It's a dive terminal spot. You can enter the subnet here, but you need a proper adapter. Okay, that sounds cool. We're quickly going to heal up, save the game, and then I'm gonna play the tutorial. There we go, let's override this. Nothing happened. I'm not lazy, I'm totally willing to learn. I'm super good, oh, we actually can't cross this bridge. Okay, let's play this. Teach me! I need your guidance after all. Very well. It's a dummy. All right. Can't use those. Tamar might like it. I guess the main reason is because, well, my, mine only eats meat, right? And we don't have any meat. You can use text for as long as you have time points, TP. Once you go over your remaining TP, it's your opponent's turn. Interesting. Each timer has some default TP it starts with, indicated by these white brackets. The faster the timer, the greater its starting TP. Ooh, this is why the bird Pokemon was probably, or the bird timer was probably super strong, because it had a very good time, right? It's pending two, minus three. Okay, yes, the enemy has two time points. I only have one right now. Oh, how does it work? Victory. Hmm. At least we leveled up, that's important. Okay, 2 HP, 1 magic, and plus 1 potential. Earned 150 bytes. Talfo learned a tiny flame. That's important. Well done. The dummy stood no chance. Now your timer must have gained a level. Is that correct? It is. When your timer gains a level, some of its stats go up. But you also must have received one potential point. Gone. Open your party menu and use that potential to increase the one, uh, one of your timer's stats. Then talk to me again. Bzzz. Okay, so party, Talfo, view stats, potential. Okay, I'm going into potential, so we could go with 2 HP, or it maybe cost 2. Yeah, potential needed to increase that. Okay, strength, absolute brutal power. Seems like we want to go more with magic. Wait, what are my overall stats again? Magic is... Uh, I'm still a little bit confused. 
because at the when we chose the Tama, it was in percentage. Now it's pure stats, but still fine. I mean, magic is the highest, right? And I guess also with our passive cinders, your fire attacks gain one burn. I would guess like burn attacks are more magic based. So that's probably one what we want to focus on a little bit more, right? Or speed, very important speed. Up starting to be in battle and chance to go first. I mean, speed ups dodge also very good. And learning, whatever learning is. Let's go with speed in this case. It seems like speed is actually import very important here. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you again. Bzzz. Did you use potential to increase your time of stats? I did. Well, either way. In that last battle, you only had one TP to use. Raise your speed stat and to increase your starting TP in battle. I did just do that. What do you say? We have a real fight now. Don't worry, I'll go easy on you. Uh, maybe? I don't trust you. Oh, by the way, do I have like a run button? Maybe, oh wait. I do, on, if I press Y, I'm playing with a controller, by the way, Xbox 360 controller, and if I press Y, we actually run. That's good to know. I want to heal up. Is this back? Can I use this? No. Okay, let me quickly do this again. There we go. Get a save again. I don't want to lose against the training dummy. I might, but, you know, I don't want to completely embarrass myself. Let's go. I'm ready now. Okay, I'm ready. So, we have 2 TP now. Okay, I say attack, tiny frame, so it's fire, it's a sabli, which should, just by the looks, be, you know, weak against fire, CP4. Okay, both have a, tie, a TP time point of 2, but this has TP4. Hmm, what does that mean? Critical, double damage, yes, we also have a combat lock, very fast so far. Can I scroll the combat lock? It doesn't seem so, maybe with the mouse? No. So that's so far, well, so far very, um fast sorry i'm a little bit confused we have the burn stat we gotta figure out it seems like i can't hover over there to really figure out what it does can i just skip my yeah i want to pass my turn so it would assume it does like one damage maybe i did with the attack now we do claw for example there we go that worked 75 or 7 xp also some bites fair enough Bzzz. wow you bested me i think you noticed that some techs do double the normal damage to my tower you will see the double written next to the move as a sign of that. What that really means is that your move's element is strong against my Tama's element. This board next to me has all the elements, weaknesses and strength written on it. Feel free to study it, study it. And in case you need to check it during battle, simply open your info tab and use your extra action keys or click on the fire button below your Tama's icon. I mean, that's a lot of things, but I gotta try that out i guess in the next comment by the way oh i love it when people say by the by <laughs> i have a little task for you before i teach you anything more advanced go outside into the wild battle others and raise your latama to level three then come talk to me again all right gonna save and try this and i s oh wait what is this machine about terminal the storage terminal is linked connected yes is there anything already withdraw no okay fair enough this is where we can store stuff as well Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm not gonna talk to everybody right now, but I at least wanna have a glimpse. What about this, for example? Warning, do not touch the generators. I would now want to touch a generator. Ah, oh, it doesn't happen, fair enough. Okay, I'll see you guys in a second. By the way, this is the element table, which tells us which is uh, strong and weak against or has resistance. For example, it seems like rock and maybe electric or thunder there's a little bit of resistance there 0.25 okay i won't be able to remember this anyway let's hope my game instincts help me with this let's go into the forest let's battle and let's find a sentient right north rainlands south memory lake east kernel dump is this something got an acorn new item acorn good for a heavy worst hammer we need meat though oh okay there was a thing in the grass a sabli Still haven't found a way to catch you. It's fine. I will activate burn, tiny flame. There we go. Double damage. Okay. Uh, enemy simply used bash. BP 1. Talful lost 1 HP. Enemy simply received 1 recall damage. It's not even the fire yet. It's recall damage from the bash attack. Okay. Let's use claw. Takes 1. Enemy turn. Bash. I ah, kind of wasted that. But what does the burn do then? I kind of expect that to deal like one damage as well. There's a few more combats we can do here. I think I want that. We want to be level three, right? Oh, also treasure chest there. So I'm gonna do the same. Oh, you would attack first. So two battle points, tiny flame. 
that my limit? I mean, I see it. I ha still haven't fully understood how the time mechanic works, but I see it. I guess it requires just a little bit of experience. Oh man, so many stats. That's amazing. Well, I guess now we have to. Oh, it's also not holding run. You just toggle it by clicking. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now let's talk to him again. I know that there's treasure, but I mean, this was kind of the quest, right? Oh, sorry, skip that. Every tech has BP or, BP or battle points. There we go. I need to know this. Which represents its raw power. Aha. Uh -huh. TP or time points, which is its usage cost. And finally, CP or combat points, which represents how many times you can use a tech without receiving return damage. Aha. Uh -huh. For example, my claw has a combat point of value of 3, and my burn ability has a combat point value of 4. Okay, so I can use the tech 3 and 4 times respectively. The question is, is that per combat or is it just in general until I rest? Tech power is amplified by your Tamer's own strength stat or magic stat. If a tech's damage type is brutal, then your Tamer's strength stat will amplify its power. Similarly, if a tech's damage type is magical, then your Tamer's magic stat will amplify its power. I'm with this knowledge. Are you now ready for a rematch? Sure. Let's go. It's against a table. Oh, look at the eyes. So cute. Okay, attack. Okay, BP1, that's the battle power of 1, TP2, and CP4. TP is on the time management, we actually have 3 right now. CP4 and battle power was the base strength, right? So actually Claw has a better um, battle power, but of course we are a fire one, so I guess this is better. Of course this is magical, this is brutal and needs contact, fair enough. Tiny flame, let's go, critical as well. Good job. And, oh, because I still have one battle uh, TP power, sorry, I can now attack again. Cool, let's go, Tiny Flame, then. Okay, I, yeah. Makes more and more sense, also with the time mechanic. Wow, you bested me again. Looks like I'm the one who must take notes. Here, take this as a small reward. I'll give you, ooh, small floppy disk. I'll give you your final task now. For our next rematch, I want you to have a full party of three Tama. Yes, you can have any Tama you want, of course. If you're unsure on how to fill your party, talk to my brother T-Rain, or Train. He lives in the forest next to this town. And let me give you some extra knowledge. Your Tamer will learn many texts during its growth, but only seven of those may be used inside battle. Open your Tamer text menu and reorder the text to choose which ones will be active in battle. So by the way, this order matters. The order matters? Wait, what? The last three texts in your active text list will have a TP penalty, meaning they have increased TP cost. Aha. Pay attention to that as well. That's all for now. <laughs> you may continue with your task. All right, that's awesome. Let's skip ahead a little bit. So now we actually see a somewhat more of a high level combat because this is a mock battle where one of the NPCs teaches me the TB mechanic. And of course, with the high level, we have way more resources to deal with this. So I'm playing with a gettle right now. We have Swamp Sniper, Aqua Barrier, Bash, Jet, Mud Bullet, Bubble Barrage, Swamp Snare. And of course, these last three should have an increased Battle cost, Bubble Barrage, for example, cost 90 B. Wow. It's three times. Also plays the day status, it seems. Very cool. So, yeah. Good thing that the game starts out, out that small and just expands upon that. Because, yeah, uh, this is a lot to take in. But so far of what we've learned, I think I understand this. Water Brutal. Water None. Once per turn, self-recovery and protect. Let's go with an Aqua Barrier. Oh, this costs five. Okay, I still have 2 TP left. What if we just go full on bubble barrage? Let's go. Let go. Okay, and this of course gives my enemy a bunch of TP as well. But let's go. Full damage against water. Double damage, double damage. This sounds cool. Okay, now the, my enemy has 8 TP. Use 3 there. Did a crit. And now I have 4. So we're trading off TP depending on our moves. This is cool. I mean, we could go with another bubble barrage to finish this off. But we also have Swamp Snare. Triggers before full attack if foe's weight is under 100 MB. So apparently weight also matters in combat. Interesting. Earth Bullet, Jet, 2 TP. Let's go Jet. Double damage, 24. Bash, Swamp Sniper, Earth Attack. I just want to see this. Pierce and Focus. Hey. Okay, yeah. This is... Earned 700 bytes. Oh, did I actually, or was it just because mock battle? Good, good. You may have also noticed that Tama will gain up to a certain amount of TP at the start of their turn. 
indicated by the white brackets on the TP bar. I did. Sometimes attack will cost a lot of TP and you'll give your opponent more TP than they would start their turn with. Be mindful of that. Zit. And one final thing. Switching Tama will sometimes cost TP. If you are switching into a slower Tama, you'll be charged the difference in base TPs of a Tama determined by their speed stats. Ooh. You'll see an indicator of this TP cost when you try to switch Tama. Okay, that's cool. Beneath the icon. Bzzz. That's all I have to teach you about TP. But if you ever want to refresh your knowledge, I'll be here. And remember, bzzz. if the battles are going too fast for you, you can slow down via the battle speed options and the settings. That's fair. But so far, even though I said that early on, you know, you, the more the play, the, you, the more you play, or I play, the more it makes sense. Yeah, I think I actually gained the money as well from that mock battle. That's cool. Are you the one? Chief Ray, nice. I want to find out how to catch Pokemon. Uh, sorry, Tama. Howdy. I'm Turtobot's brother, T Rain. There's some boring information stats written over there on that billboard. You don't want to read that. You want a challenge, don't you? Yes. That's the spirit. I bet you'd know. Uh, you don't know anything about catching Tama. That's kind of true. Bzzz. Quest received. So I want you to catch one native Tama for me here in this forest. How do you catch Tama, you ask? Well, you don't. <laughs> At the end of each battle, Tama Ford can choose to join your party. You can increase the chance of it joining your party by giving it gifts through the support menu. Wait, we can also give items to the enemy, so to speak? Interesting. Also, each Tama has a favorite item. If you give it their favorite item, you'll increase the chance by a huge amount. For example, Sable's favorite item is an acorn. Aha! Uh -huh. Final tip, don't bother trying to catch a Tama that's a higher level than you. It'll almost always reject your gifts. So we have a chance to catch something that is higher level, but it's very, very small, it seems. Alrighty, you should be ready to catch some Tama now. Okay, let's go. I want to have... Oh, these guys are cool as well. Okay, we need an acorn. I think I found an acorn previously. It's a sable and they look so cute. Okay, support. I will give you an acorn. It's a gift. Choo! Sable loves acorns. Nice. Friendliness is at 70%. So that's our chance. And now we still need to defeat it, I suppose. Tiny flame, let's go. So 70% chance. Also level up. Did we trigger that? Maybe not. Ooh, that's a cool bunch of stats. And 150 bytes. Tafel learned fireball. Yes. Sable dropped an acorn. Yes. Sable wants to join your party. Will you accept it? Yes. Sable has joined the party. Da -da 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 party, we have a sable. One HP, cause we just beat it up. Guys, this is just how you make friends, you know. First, give someone something, then beat them up, and then you're you're gonna be best buddies. Cannot reboot. Interesting. Baby acorn Tama eats plants. Class plant elements native. Pa uh, passive is uh, synthesis. Gain one recovery at turn start. So I guess recovery. Uh, well, recovers HP somehow, but would be nice, that's my only thing so far, would be nice to somehow allow me to look this up. Maybe I can, but I'm pressing all the buttons on my controller right now. Um, but it seems like I can't really highlight this to see what recovery is about. So far I haven't figured out where to look this up. But of course you can just do it by learning by doing. Which is how I used to play Pokemon back in the day, so... Hard to really complain about this. Okay, these are your stats. Okay, we still need more team member, but I also want your reward, right? That's a native Tama right there, in your party. Are you ready to take on my next challenge part two? Yes, all right. Here's t Rain's first lesson. You'll fight again in, uh, against an Earth Tama and observe how strong your native attacks are against it. Well, I didn't heal my Pokemon. I still have my Talfu. Am I supposed to switch? But it's gonna be beat up, right? Switch. Wait, switch. Switch. Select there. 1 HP, but I guess maybe the Molon is not going to attack, so we're just gonna try out. <laughs> Native kick! Quitcher! Double damage. Well, not much, and it's defeated. Well, I'm gonna select my other Pokemon now. <laughs> I guess the game kinda expected us to heal up. Sable fainted. Sorry! Okay, this has burn. I wonder with my passive if we now apply two burn. Oh, we only deal half damage. Still gotta try it. I want the apply the burn. Yeah, it's gonna be two burn. Okay, I guess claw. Two damage. Okay, double damage with that. Fair enough. We have two action points. Can I apply up to like four burn? I can. But what does burn do? Well, now dealt four damage. So it does deal like some damage at the end of turn. Also, a bunch of money. <laughs> wow, you did it. I mean, not necessarily as you wanted me to tutorial, but we did it anyway. Bzzz. Maybe this challenge was too easy. Here's your reward. Don't spend it all at once. Kick, kick, kick. A small floppy, which shields up our 
uh, Tama. I have another challenge for you. I'll make it harder this time. So I want you to catch one Earth Tama for me here in this forest. I heard there are some hanging around the tunnel. See if you can find them. All right, but we still need to find the sentience. So I'll skip ahead until we have managed to do that. See you guys in a second. Mice, hi. Do you know if I can get to the rainlands through this forest? Question mark. <laughs> My bad. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Mies. I'm an adventurer. I actually didn't notice this as a character, I swear. I thought that was just a trash can here I wanted to loot. I didn't notice that <laughs> this was a person. Oops. The map I've been, uh, I have doesn't show any roadblock here. Then again, I do have an older version. Oh, there's a giant spider. Eek! It is a toxie. But please, get rid of it. Okay, combat. Level 3 toxie. Oh, look, look at the eyes. It's so cute. Can we... Can we? It's a bug, right? Can we make this our friend? Low voltage energy storage artifice. Wait, we have a peach, right? Loved by certain insect like Tama. Let's try it out. Gift. This is... Rejected! No! Friendliness is at minus 5%. I, I want you to... Oh, you look so cute. All right. Fireball! If and don't, just use fireball. And now, yeah, at the end of the turn. I never noticed that before. Because the combat lock actually doesn't... No, it's again recall damage. So does my burn do something? I'm still unsure. Because it seems like it's always the recall damage from their own attack and not from my burn. That's the only thing confusing me so far. Oh, also it applied a slow debuff to me, I think. Pretty cool though, I want to have a doxy. Whew. Sorry for freaking out like that. I have a big fear of arachnids. I should thank you for rescuing me. Honestly, I thought I was a goner. <laughs> uh, what's that? You want me to come visit a nearby town? Colonel Dump? Sure thing. I'm a bit stuck anyway, and I may be able to sell some of the loot from my adventures there. Nice. If you find a way to unlock this passage to the rainlands, though, let me know. Oh, and here, take this card. I bet you'll find a good use for it. Ooh, this is from our dex thingy, right? People dex. And she just teleported away, so we have the... No, it's not the party. We have the quest, of course, t range challenge, and so on. So, gadgets. There, recruit dex. Me, uh, mice. I'll share the items I'll find on my transfers with the townsfolk. That's so cool, we unlocked her. And she's also associated with the quest, so right now she's uh, at the hub world. But that also seems to mean that later on NPCs will move around the world as well. There's another one! Also safe station and so on. Oh, what? This also looks so cool. The monitor seems to be locked. One of the symbols on it seems to be... Oh, there's also glitchy! Okay, wait. I know I'm skipping ahead a little bit, but I want to try out... Is, what is this glitchy stuff? Hello? The space around the passage is glitching out. You can't find a way though. So we need some other items or like power chip. New item power chip. A condensed data device increases, uh, increases strength power by 1%. The item was stored inside the memory. So we also use item used. So is the, it's not equipped, it just increased their stats, right? Yeah, it's just there. Pretty cool, and we can level up later on as well. This is so cool! Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a good way to now hopefully go back to the main menu. No, it quit out completely, that's always sad. Let me go back to the main menu. Regardless, yeah, a note heart. This is clearly Pokemon, but indie, but also in an analog slash dialogue uh, uh, digital world. And the demo apparently already has 30 uh, Tama we can catch. The full game is going to have more than 140. And there's also going to be legendary in this game called Mythical Creatures, four of them. Which I would assume is going to be like in the original Pokemon where we have to travel the world, maybe trigger them to fly away somewhere, and then we're going to have to hunt them down in dangerous dungeons and so on. Yeah, double thumbs up. This is very well made. This gives me nostalgia of like the first Pokemon games in a good and in the best way. I haven't played the recent ones in a couple of years, but you know, I've replayed the original um, few ones like so many, so, so many times. And this gives me all the good vibes. Wow. Yeah, I'm very excited for this. Double thumbs up. If this quality that is being shown here at the beginning keeps up, with, you know, like, apparently there's going to be an intriguing story here as well with this story hook setup and everything. Um, the atmosphere, the music, well done, the art design, the uh, the Tamas, everything I enjoy a great deal. 
yeah, please tell me what you think of the game. Please tell me what you think of my presentation and playthrough thereof. Feedback is always greatly appreciated. Stay awesome. Truly thank you for watching and we see each other in the next video.